So once the dresses have been cut, they'll come up onto the first floor to be stitched. Each machinist will have her own skill level from our, from our training apprentices right through to my head team, as I said before, has been with me 23 years. And each section of a dress, or each dress is then decided who's making it. But along here, all these machines will, will, make, will make a dress start to finish. Does each person have a specialist? and um, concentrate on one dress? They have, style. they have dresses that they like making and yeah. so we try and work it. But even if you really like making a style of dress, you wouldn't want to make it one, one, yeah, yeah. every single Keep day. Going. So we, we make it, so they'll make a selection. Once you've got that skill, you should be able to work out how to make the other styles. You know, yeah. we, have, you know, we work, I work with the same principles. I think it's me if you like the dress, I think if you like the dress, you kind of like making it more. Yeah, you've got more It's a bit of it. a connection with it, where if, yeah. you, if it's not your personal style, yeah, it may yeah. be harder co to connect. Yeah. But, uh, but no, they all have their, have their favourites, they like making it. What would this be, for example? It is, this is going to be a sash that sits around the waist. So what um, Tony's doing is just checking that the silk is lying flat, that it mustn't be, mustn't be twisted, and you can fold it, and everything is in line, exactly in line. Amazing, so we'll check. That's it. Once your skill level is there, it's 45 minutes now, what, what the hidden bit is, it will take you probably up to two years training to be able to stitch that yeah. on the bias without it twisting. Yeah. So that's that's what takes the time. Although that looks really simple, that would not be something you would walk through the door and just start making. No. Because it's, it's, cut, it's cut on the uh, cross grain, so it moulds to the body. Yeah. You need, you need total concentration mm. and relative, as you can see, even there's a lot going on in here, it's a, it's a very calm environment Yeah. Uh, because yeah. you've got to concentrate all the time. You, you, know, you lose concentration, there will be mistakes made. But what I do do is I'll often come in and do a demonstration on how I want a particular technique okay. done. Okay, yeah. So when the dress has almost completed its journey through the workroom, mm. the cutting, it comes up, it gets sewn, it works its way along the room here, then um, it comes to the hand finishing department. And these are the ladies that are infinitely patient <laughs> with sewing the tiny details on, which can, of course, make or break a dress. They will do the hand sewing. So, you know, they could be just setting on a, um, a beautiful trim, mm. um, pleating, a, pleating a sash, and exactly what I want it ready for its bow to yeah. go on. Jackie's a little bit old school like myself. It's really hard to work with a thimble, <laughs> you know, because you've got to feel the cloth with your mm. hands. The dresses look really delicate, but they're actually fully corseted, yeah. so you know, they're quite so this heavy, they're heavily structured, some of them, where you're trying to get through, sew through like, even, a, even a button or something like that. You know, I, I love seeing what's going on here, because that's mm. where, this is where a dress can be absolutely transferred. It comes to life here. Yeah. And I think that's probably what Jackie and everybody in hand sewing likes. You know, they kind of, they take the, the frame of the dresses all been put together, and then you, and then you do it at this stage. You, you bring it to life. And then we wave goodbye to them. They, mm. they then go Packed onto that off. rail there, or that rail there, and they're ready to be shipped yeah. wherever they're going in the world. Yeah, fantastic.